Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to Terraria. Last time, we were digging in a cave and then I died. This time, we're going to actually just take a look at what's around us. And so, apparently, we have a corruption near our house. So, because these guys definitely mean business. These guys are like, what are they called? Eater of Souls. And they are like, basically only found in the corruption. If you guys don't know what the corruption is, hopefully you guys will see it in this episode. I cannot make any promises, though. I have 81 pieces of iron. I actually should probably go make something with that. So this over here, this purple grass stuff, is corruption. Inside the corruption, there are these vines that hurt you. Um, there are trees, of course. There are these stupid things. Um, Eater of Souls, as you guys already know. And stuff. It's kind of a terrible place to be, but... I just want to take a look at it and stuff right now. We probably won't be able to survive here. I'm going to guess probably not. Considering I almost fell off the hole. I did die. Whatever. I, I thought I was landing on something. And I don't really know. I don't care. So that was fun. Um, <laughs> Alright. Let's let's um come down here. Back to our house. Because we have nothing in our house at all right now. And we need to start doing something. So what I'll do... Is we actually have a lot of stuff. Put down a gold chest. So that way we can store our bars in here. Which we're going to actually need to use. But yeah. We'll also put down our loom that we randomly found. We will put down our... Um, <laughs> we'll put away our potions. And we will put away our goldfish. I'll keep the lesser healing potion. Shurikens I'll keep too. Thorns potion, swiftness potion. I'll keep the gel chest. Um, we can put down, I guess, and we can put down this one too. All right. Uh, we're going to actually take out our iron bar and our silver, and we're going to put down our sword statue. I really don't know what the statues do, but I heard that they do do something. So we'll have to see. So now what we'll do is we will make a furnace. And also a... We're going to have to take out one of these chests, actually. Because of just the way... I like to craft all my stuff right next to each other, pretty much. There's stuff in here. Okay, we'll loot all right now. Take out the chest. Put down this chest, and then move this golden chest to this gold area over here. Alright. Now we'll come over here. And we need to put down an anvil. So... Let's go craft an anvil, which I don't really know where it is. Alright, there's an anvil. We put down an anvil. See, now with an anvil, you can make weapons and stuff. Um, we're going to wait to make weapons, though. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to find where you can make bars. So we got some silver bars here. Um, we got 5 plus 15, so that's an alright amount. And then we got some gold. And... We can make a bow, we can make... Okay, apparently... I know I have. Okay, yeah, I have iron ore. In here, that's what I thought. And... We can make... 27. Now, I'm going to make iron armor, actually. We, can, we actually have 35, actually. But anyway. So let's try to make iron armor. If we can. Some type of it. Yes, we can. Okay, so we can make... We can make iron chainmail. Huh, I want to make a good sword too, though. Alright, let's get the sword first. Uh, we can sell that when time comes. Let's get an iron pick. Actually, wait, we have enough for... Uh, what's it called? A pick. A silver pick. So let's get a silver pick, actually. And then we can get a silver. We can get a gold sword, actually. <laughs> um, let's wait until we have a little bit more gold. Just make an iron axe. And an iron hammer. And now, do I have enough to make anything that I want? Okay, so no. Now we're good. Now I'm going to put our stuff away. Okay, so we'll put away... The potions first. 
Actually, wait, what chest am I in for right now? Let's make sure, okay. We'll make sure we're in, a good, in the first chest. Um, more potions. Uh, no, no, that's not a potion. 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 Um, check me, I like to keep these potions on me, and I'll keep this on me, too. Um, silver. Uh, do I have any gold or Yep. And what about iron? Iron, iron. Nope, we don't have any more iron. Okay, now we'll put this ruby away. Wooden hammer, copper axe, and wooden sword, and copper short sword. Now we're a little bit more set. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to murder these guys out here. With our new improved iron sword. That I kind of actually wish we would have bought a, or made a golden sword out of. But I'm going to wait. Only because I think we should. So. Yeah. I'm going to actually put a door over here too. Did I, did I keep the wood on me? Yes I did. Oh we need a chair. Because I'm actually going to make this usable. to sit in. No. Is that good? Yes. Okay. Now. Now we need to go back here. So we get another door. Now I'll dig this out. See, as you can see, we can dig dirt a lot faster now, which is going to help out. And then we'll put the door right here. Not there. Right there. Okay, now. That's basically all we needed to do. So, yeah. We'll shut down housing too. Okay, so. Now that we have that done, let's look at the whole thing. We actually have blowpipe ammo. I actually really want to try this. Because I've never used this. It does, about, it does a good amount of damage, I'm not going to lie. I mean, not that great, but it does some damage. So, so as you can see, we just got an armored shap shackle, which basically, it's a def as accessory that you can put on that gives one defense normally, but I have an armored one, which basically allows it to get to plus three more defense, which is pretty cool. So, let's take a look at our, like, stats for these. So, we have Annoying Iron Broadsword, which basically takes out minus 20% damage. That's actually really bad. And minus 14% speed, so that was a bad one. How about Strong Silver Pickaxe? Six melee damage, 4% critical strike, very fast speed, very weak knockback, 4% or 45% pickaxe power plus 15% knockback knock because of the strong. Um, we just got a normal iron axe and a heavy iron hammer, which makes it so there is 7 melee damage, 4% critical strike, slow speed, strong knockback, 4% hammer power, and the heavy makes it 10% speed loss and, uh, what, 15% knockback. So, overall, uh, kind of got some crappy tools, but I'm not going to complain here. So... What we're going to do now is we're going to actually probably just keep exploring, killing things, whatever. So as you can see, our boomerang does way more damage than any of our items. So I'll probably just keep using our boomerang considering the way the boomerang... I like the boomerang to a certain point. Um, <laughs> it's okay if you're like a long range, like away from an enemy. But if you're really close, you're going to have some troubles. That's... <laughs> I mean, oh, why well, I just freaking murdered that guy. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't even know there was cobwebs there. Huh. Okay, I gotta try to get out of here. Honestly, I'm putting this right there. Okay, thank you. Okay. Then we'll bring that out. There we go. And then we'll put some torches down so we can see. So, yeah. I'm trying I am looking for copper now mostly so that I can actually make um I can make a good some armor at least like some type of armor but probably not the best thing to do but I actually see some iron over there or something so hit him right in the back what's up Come near me. Come near me. I freaking dare you. 
Okay, it only does like two damage to him, but. I'm just gonna retain that. Okay, there we go. So we got some iron ore right here, which is pretty cool. Not that much iron, but we still got some. How much iron did we get there? Like 13 pieces. Alright, that's fine. Let's keep looking for some stuff. We got a lot of a lot of random trees here, which is gonna help out. Okay, honestly, I'm trying to take out my sword, but... Alright, come on. Come on. Come on, bro. Okay, thank you. Alright. So, we got some more seeds. To help out, I guess, with our blowpipe. But besides that, probably not gonna be the most useful thing. Oh, I thought the enchant... Yeah, I thought the enchanted... Heal. Heal. Really quick. Quack. I said quack. <laughs> oh my god, could there be any more freaking zombies in here? I'm gonna try to get out of here so I don't die from losing air. Alright, there we go. Alright, there we go. Now we got a, what, armor shackle again. We can only, I'm pretty sure we can only put one of those on at a time. So, whatever. Oh, frick, okay. I am gonna probably die here. Okay, I didn't. Let's keep walking with this in my hand so we can see, because I know it's really dark and. Oh, frick. Get away from me. Okay, thank you. Come on. Come on. Oh, God, I'm right in the freaking face. Alright. Let's take a take a quick look at everything over here just so that oh there's two fallen stars up there. That's actually really good. So let's get those fallen stars. You guys don't know what fallen stars do? Fallen stars allow you to get mana. So pick them up. They go away in the sunlight, so you might want to look in the dark. Well of course you would, but <laughs> but whatever. Alright there. We'll put some torches down. So that way we can see. I need to make some more potion. Wait, what the frick? I can make a mud block. Huh, out of dirt. And water, I guess, maybe. Okay. Got 72 torches now, so we should be good in the torch front for a little bit at least. At least until we go back into a cave or a, or a mine shaft, for example. But so, as you guys, you can see, um, with this boomerang, I can actually do some damage to these stupid demon eyes, so they shouldn't be a big problem anymore. I mean, they weren't really a big problem because they don't really get in my way or anything. So, but whatever. What's really bad is when they get in your house. Then it's then it's really bad, actually. But right now, not really a big deal. So, so we got we got a little bit more. Oh frick! Are you kidding me right now? There's like a bunch of zombies just chilling out in water lately. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Just try to take out these stupid demon eyes as much as you possibly can. I mean, they kind of get in my way, so I don't really like to. Oh my god, of course you're gonna do damage to me, piece of crap. Oh, we're in a desert biome. That's actually really cool. 
Desert's biome just kind of sucked, though. I mean, there's, like, too much sand everywhere and just, uh... Actually, I want some sand, actually. So, I'm gonna get some sand, probably. Okay, so let's get some sand here. So, as you guys can see, sand falls. So, it's kind of a poopy thing, but... You get used to it. Okay, I'm gonna make this one a little bit shorter. Okay. How much sand do I have now? 27 pieces. That's pretty much good right now, at least for now. So there's a whole freaking buttload of slimes over here. Hello, Slime City. Population three, almost. I want to say two, but I'll probably die here. Oh, I wasn't even close to dying. I, th I swear to God, I was almost dying. I don't know why I thought that, but <laughs> I definitely did, so whatever. Okay. Let's keep walking around, just checking everything pretty much. There is what over here? I don't know. I don't really want to dig right now, so it's going to pretend I didn't see this. So. <laughs> There might be something good down there, but I, I don't really care. There's a little bit of copper right here. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to dig up. Okay, so we got some copper. Really hope we can make some copper armor after this. Alright, we got some copper coins. That's fine. Nothing, nothing, nothing down there at all. Had to look. Had to look. The frick, man. Come on. Come on, blue slime. Come on. Come on. Bro. Don't mess with me. Don't go around fire expecting not to sweat. If anybody knows what song that's from. 100 cool points. Nah, nah, nah. Not cool points. Uh. Let's go ill points. Ill points. Because that's what rappers say. And I'm a rapper. Not really. Sort of. I like rap music. I'm a rapper. Oh, uh, I got hurt. Sand hurts you when it falls, guys. Oh, we're getting into corruption again. That's freaking terrible. <laughs> God, what's up with the corruption in this area? I don't really understand. Oh, I just fell. Alright, let's see what's down here. Probably death. Yep, I'm gonna go with death. I'm gonna go with death. I'm gonna go with death. How do you make boomerang? Can you not make glow sticks? I don't know. We need to get out of here, though. Because <laughs> we're going to die, probably. Uh, okay. I don't go around spire expecting not to sweat. Alright. And I'm not gonna sing the rest of it because I don't want to. Pretty much. That's, that's, that's the answer. Okay. Let's just freaking hit this guy right in the freaking face. Next time, don't go around to fire. Expect it not to sweat. Sorry. I'm just, uh, don't even listen to that song that much. That's the weird part. It is a rap song. Um, so if you don't listen to rap, you're probably not going to get it right. Unless you've heard this song somewhere. Which probably not going to be on the radio. But maybe. Possibly. I'm going to say probably not though. Eh, you know what? Every once in a while it might be. Or if you can name the person that says that part in the song, which, if you guys don't even know what the song is, of course you're going to get it wrong, but I guess that's what happens when you don't listen to rap and you get asked an amazing question. So. So this is like the deepest freaking hole I've ever been in my life. And I have to try to find a way out without dying because this is water and I'll probably actually pass out here. Because I don't have really that much blocks on me. I have two, three, I have like, yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna do the save and quit glitch though. Well, if I die here, um, whatever. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Terraria. See you guys next time. Peace out.